Hey guys, happy Friday. It's finally the weekend, so excited. We're actually heading to Cabo tomorrow morning, so today's kind of busy with just last minute preparations. Um, anyway, for today's blog post, I'm just going to show you uh, my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear a ton of makeup, uh, so I'll just show you kind of the basic products that I use on a daily basis. I am by no means a beauty expert, so um, for that kind of stuff, there are hundreds of fabulous YouTube bloggers out there um, who can give you tips and tricks on that. But for every day, five minute routine, I got you covered. So I will link all the products below for you in case you're curious about any of them and you want a direct link. So um, let's just get started. The first product that I use uh, is this Chanel cream foundation. I've been using it for a couple years and I really am a huge fan of it. Um, again, not a professional um, beauty expert, so I'm going to probably do things a lot of beauty experts would never recommend. And the first of those is stick my hand in my compact. I've used different tools uh, or brushes actually to help me apply my foundation in the past and I've never felt as though I get that great of coverage. Uh, so I feel as if my hands actually give me the best. So anyway, I just go around my face in circular motions under my eyes and my forehead, kind of getting up by the hairline. Hope I didn't scare you guys too much with my makeupless face. All right, so this is a really kind of a sheer foundation. Actually, I'd say it's in the middle between um, heavy coverage and light coverage, so probably a medium, um, which is exactly what I was looking for. All right, so once I'm done with that, I move on to my concealer, and I use Laura Mercier's High Coverage Under Eye Concealer. Um, it says it's for under eye, but I actually use it all over my face. I really like the coverage that it gives and feel as though um, it, it covers up uh, certain red areas on my face really well. So I really just squeeze a little bit out on my fingers. Again, there are concealer brushes. Again, I like how my fingers do it. So um, I really cover up my red areas, which are right in my T-zone for me. I have really bad allergies. So my nose is always red underneath it. And I also don't like a ton of pigmentation on my lips. So I just dab a little bit on my lips. Um, I do the lids of my eyes because they tend to be pretty um, rosy, rosy, reddish kind of color. Um, I just kind of cover them all up. And then, of course, the under eyes, the scariest part for me. Um, and so what really drew me to this foundation was its brightening effect. Um, I just felt like it did a really great job of brightening up my dark circles. Um, I make sure to get kind of in the crease up there and really just cover up the entire area, covering those dark circles, which probably doesn't help I stayed up way too late reading um, a book last night. And so those dark circles are probably slightly more pronounced this morning. And then just a little extra for good measure. My under eye area is kind of the area that I most, when I, I don't mind going out in public without makeup on. I'm not saying I look great, but I don't mind it. Um, but my under eye area is kind of that one area that I'm like, ooh, should probably dab something on that. Okay, so after I do the concealer, I move on to this blush. I use Bobbi Brown. Um, it's the number one in Golden Light. And it doesn't have any shimmer to it. Again, another product I've been using for a while. Um, I'm almost out of it, so I will maybe be trying a different one. Not sure. So I just kind of brush it. 
I read somewhere that these areas were the areas that were considered um, sun-kissed areas to apply bronzer. I don't know how to contour. I feel like I would just look like a dirty mess if I tried to contour. So this is how I apply my bronzer. Just enough to give me a little bit of color, not look so pasty as if um, I haven't seen the sun in years. After that, I do my blush. Another Laura Mercier product that I use. Uh, this color is Winter Bloom. I'll show it to you guys. It's between a pink and a spice cider. Those are the two colors that I already had uh, in her brand. And so when I was talking to the beauty consultant, I requested something in between the two. And this is what she gave me, and I've been really happy with it. Laura Mercier blushes are highly pigmented, so you don't need a ton on your brush. Um, so I just smile and apply a little bit on my cheek bone area. And are you guys surprised that I'm actually using a brush for this? <laughs> I'm really in the market for a good cream blush too to kind of complement the cream foundation that I have. So when I get one of those, I'll share it with you guys. Or if you guys have any ones that you love, let me know. So that's it. You can see some um, kind of like the rosiness um, on the cheeks. Something to just give me, again, a little bit co of color. And then I apply this Loose Setting Power, the pow Power Powder by Laura Mercier. Uh, I found this product a few years ago when I was at Sephora. Uh, my complaint was that I felt as though by the end of the day, my makeup had worn off. And But I didn't want anything that I put on my face to keep my makeup on to look cakey. And so the beauty consultant recommended this product and I've been really, really happy with it um, ever since I've started using it. So what I do is I just open it up and I pour a little bit out into the lid. This does come with a powder um, powder brush, but again, I, I just didn't like the coverage it was giving me. So I just use my regular brush and I just dab a little bit on here and then um, put it on my face, under my eyes. And I do really, really like this product. I feel like it um, does help my makeup to stay nicely. And that's it. That's it for that. For my face, that's it. Um, I do have one more step later, but that's after I finish the eye area. So super simple, super quick on the face. It took a little bit longer than it usually does, obviously because I'm talking about it, but it probably takes me three minutes to complete that whole um, facial routine. So next for my eyes, um, so a little bit, I, I start with my eyebrows and I start by filling them in with this Brow Wiz pencil by um, Anastasia. I've been really happy with it, but um, on a side note, I started using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost for my lashes, and I've been super happy with um, the results. I felt as though the lashes had grown out great. Uh, I took them off in January. I had fake lashes on and took them off in January. I just, Harper was grabbing for them, and I was like, this just, I don't want her seeing me with a bunch of fake lashes on. So I took them off, but I had seriously like nubs for eyelashes, like they were non-existent. And so I started using this product and I've been using it since January. So that's about four months and I've been so happy with the results. Somebody recommended to me that I try them on my brows to fill them in instead of um, doing like microblading. I've heard of people having really great results with microblading. And so um, I, I really didn't want to do that, um, but my eyebrows were so sparse and so once I tried the Rodan and Fields, it really filled them in nicely. Disregard the fact that they are bushy right now. I'm getting them waxed tomorrow. Um, they haven't been waxed in several months. Mom life, if I have an option between waxing my eyebrows or going to a spin class, I will always choose the spin class. So anyway, my point is, is I haven't had to fill them in as much since I've been using the Rodan and Fields on my um, brows. So... If you're ever curious about that product, there's my two cents about it. If you have um, a consultant near you, I, I recommend going through them. Anyway, so I just take the pencil and fill in this area. Any like 
areas that look like they're just a little sparse, I fill them in. It's kind of awkward doing it on here. Um, the lighting keeps shifting because it keeps refocusing. So sorry if you can't see how the products look on my face all the time. All right. So there we go. My lid, uh, my lids, my brows are filled in a little bit better. And then I kind of go over them. The other side of this has a little brush and I kind of just go over them, try to make them look somewhat tame. And that's it for the lash, for the brows. And then I've been using this illuminator by NARS um, in Orgasm. I really wanted something to create the dewy effect and this product was recommended to me and I've been really, really happy with it. I just put a little bit on my finger like this, rub them together and I start on the kind of cheekbone area and you can see right there. So I start on the cheekbones and just dab it in. And then I do move to the brow bone and I do apply it on my lids as well. It kind of gives it a brightening effect in addition to a dewy look, which I really like. Do it on both sides, obviously. In the brow. And that's it. All right, almost done. Then I just curl my lashes. I started using this lash curler. Um, just because my other one broke and I've been too lazy to get another one. Um, I don't necessarily really recommend this one. It's a little bit more difficult to use. Maybe it's just user error, AKA me. Um, but I like the other metal kind better. But anyway, I just stick my eyelashes in here. The reason I don't like it as much is I feel like I pinch my skin much more um, with it. But you guys know how to curl your lashes. I don't need to show you how to do it and that's it and then I apply sometimes I will apply liner if I'm going out to lunch or something but not always and then when I do I apply it on the insides of my eyes and I use this Laura Mercier um, crayon and it's khaki it's in between a black and a brown and I'm really really happy with it um, but for my mascara I recently started using this Chanel Le Volume Really happy with it um, and then I'm gonna go apply it and then I'll come back because you guys already know how to apply mascara and it's really awkward to apply it in the video all right so I just applied one coat to each eye after I finished with the top I moved to the bottom and as you can see it really works to just enhance um, kind of the lash the enhanced lashes that I've gotten with Rodan and Fields so been really happy with that and I also feel like with the longer lashes um, I don't need to do much more with my eyes so as far as lip colors go I'm a nude nude obsessed um, red only comes out and corals only come out maybe if I'm on vacation or the holidays or something really special um, but the two colors that I've been going back and forth between um, is this MAC color it's called Viva Glam 2 see it right there as well as this NARS lip stick in Rosewood. So for today, I'm going to use this Viva Glam by MAC. And this liner, it's a MAC Whirl. It works with both colors. So I'm not gonna apply the liner today. Um, you guys know how to apply lip liner. Uh, but so I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Again, I don't like a ton of color, so even just a little bit of the nude. And that's it. This is my everyday makeup tutorial. So just a little bit of color on the cheeks. As you can see, just, you know, filling in the eye area and just a little bit of makeup or a little bit of lipstick and color on the lips. And then I head out the door, just toss something on and head out the door. So anyway, that's it. I hope it helps you guys out um, on a daily basis. Makeup, I've always felt, should just enhance your already wonderful features. And so I hope this helps you guys too. And I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you on Monday. Bye.